Hey guys, John here. Today, I wanna to share with you my experience using this ultra tall monitor. I've been using this monitor for over a month now and I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard of it, I was not excited about this product. I didn't quite understand the need for it or why it was necessary to create a monitor like this. And I was sure that it didn't fit my workflow. But after using it more and more, it grew on me. And although LG sent this monitor for me to check out, this is not a sponsored video. I'm free to say whatever I want. This is the 28 inch LG dual up monitor. It has a 16 by 18 aspect ratio, 27.6 inch nano IPS panel with a resolution of 2560 by 2880. It supports HDR, it covers 98% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, 300 nits of brightness, 5 millisecond response time, and a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio. It has all the ports you'll need. It has two HDMI, display port, two USB-A port, 90 watt USB-C pass-through, and headphone jack. It also has a built-in KVM switch, so if you want a single monitor setup, this could work really well. And it's priced at $699. Before we get too deep, I'm not a monitor expert. I just happen to use one every day for different purposes. And so I mainly wanna focus on that, the experience of using it, what I like and what I don't like. Setting up the monitor is very easy. It comes with this ergo stand, which is really nice to use and very easy to assemble. It has a very smooth mobility. It also has a built-in cable management solution, which is great. My only complaint about the ergo stand is the big base that it has. I wish it was more compact. This is a case-to-case -case scenario, but for me, I had to remove the cable rack I have on my desk just to be able to install the stand. But even then, I'm not able to push it all the way in, but hey, it works. After connecting my MacBook Pro to this monitor, the scaling is not perfect. The text come out like a little too small. And so I had to lower the resolution a little bit to help with that. Using the LG Dual Up monitor for everyday use is my favorite. Researching, scripting, or consuming content is a pleasant experience. So most of the time, I'll have a setup like this. So when I'm scripting, I'll have my Notion open, writing my script. And then maybe I'll refer to a YouTube video that I've done in the past or get inspiration from other people. And then I'll have a notes app open to write B-roll ideas as I'm typing a script. Of course, this looks different depending on what my focus is for the day. But as you can see, there's a lot of space to work with, which I really like. The texts are not as sharp as it is on the MacBook, but it's not bad by any means. Personally, I haven't had a 4K or a 5K display, so this is more than acceptable for me. Overall, for everyday use, I think this monitor is great. For photo editing, I think this monitor is really promising. My main issue with it is color accuracy. I think the colors come out a little bit more vibrant and the contrast is a little bit stronger. And so I had to tweak the settings of the monitor to match the colors on my MacBook Pro. But for the month that I've been using it, I go back to my MacBook Pro before exporting anything just to make sure that the colors are how I want them to be. Working full screen on this monitor gives you this full, very immersive feeling, especially when editing a vertical photo. It feels like there's so much space. And even if you don't edit, full screen, just like how I have it here. Maybe you just want to do half size. This is still a pretty decent size image. Uh, I could still see a lot of the details. Of course, I can zoom in if I want. And that's just awesome. If I'm editing maybe a horizontal photo, just like this one, I would most likely divide my windows you know, like this. And again, this image size right here is more than enough. And it's nice to have a bottom portion where, you know, I could have a reference photo or emails and whatnot. While photo editing on this monitor, I'm never wanting more space or feeling too crammed. I think if you pick this up for that purpose, you'll like it. Video editing on this monitor is awesome. It feels like it was created for this purpose. When I'm editing on Final Cut Pro, I have so much room to move things around depending on what my focus is for the moment. I can resize this divider to make it easy to find the clips that I want. Or if I want to refine my edits, I can simply just have the viewer and the timeline on to reduce visual clutter. And I still have good amount of space. You know, some videos are more stacked layer wise, so I can still see a lot here. And at the top, I have a big viewer window, which is really nice. And editing on only half of the screen works too. Um, especially if you're just doing, you know, like refining edits kind of like this. But even if you wanna edit like this for some reason. Um, I wouldn't do that personally myself. If it was me, I'd probably 
lean more towards like this unless of course you're editing a reel color grading on this monitor is not ideal unless you calibrate it for me personally what i like to do is have my macbook pro set up on the side of it just like this and have the viewer open on my macbook pro so i can see the colors more accurately and leave everything else onto the lg dual up monitor it's not as seamless of an experience but it works and it's a good compromise when it comes to architecture, working on the LG Dual Up monitor is quite unique. Working full screen is just not as practical. Architecture drawings are drawn in landscape format, and so seeing more vertical space doesn't necessarily help. At least for me, in the kind of work that I do, which is residential projects, a lot of my plans are wider than they are taller. If you look at the outside of a building, the same is true, they are wider than they are taller. And so I have this excess space here and here which i think is a waste one use case that i find this vertical space helpful is when i'm referring to a drawing within a drawing kind of like this when i have an x ref open say the floor plan when i'm trying to draw an elevation but then again i don't find that to be very important for my use and so personally i would rather have more horizontal space so i can zoom in on my drawing and see more context of this building that I'm trying to draw. So the best way I found to work when it comes to architecture is just do a 50-50 split. By doing this, you pretty much have two 22 inch um, monitors. So I have SketchUp open up top, just like this, AutoCAD at the bottom, and everything just feels well utilized. And I like that. Working two third, one third, um, the window up top just gets really small. I could see somebody maybe considering this and this is also better than working full screen but for me it's a little too small so i still like to do 50 50. while drafting the lines look clear and crisp and doing any cad work shouldn't be a problem at all i do want to point out that even though a 50 50 split is the most ideal when it comes to windows management working on it in real life can be a little bit tricky especially for somebody like me. I'm not used to a top-down monitor setup. I've always used a side-by-side -side or an ultra-wide. And so when I'm working, my eyes go like somewhere in this middle portion, right? So this is the most neutral point. If I'm working in this upper window, then I have to tilt my head up. And then when I'm working on this lower window, I have to look down. Seems so obvious. But when I'm working for an extended period of time, looking down like this is not that great and so i would compensate by either raising this up or lowering it down if i'm working on this window all i'm trying to say is depending on your use sometimes moving the monitor up and down might be necessary which is not a big deal given that you have the ergo stand i just wanted to point that out one app that i downloaded as soon as i got this monitor is called magnet and it gives you the ability to snap windows onto the screen so for example i could drag this window and make it one third of the screen i could do the middle third bottom third of course i could also drag into the four corners and get a quarter window of course i could do that in each corner and then i could do half and a half of course i could use shortcut keys if i wanted to um, do top third or i could do you know bottom two thirds if I wanted to. Just a lot of flexibility and this is a good way to manage your windows. And another thing I did to work around this space better is to move my dock from the bottom to the side just because it's easier to access. Like when I'm all the way up here and I have to drag all the way down, you know, it, it just makes sense. Left or right, doesn't matter, but that's another thing that helped me. Like I said earlier, this monitor has a built-in KVM switch. And if you can't tell yet, I have my MacBook Pro connected up top with my gaming PC connected at the bottom. If you're into streaming or anything like that, or if you have a Mac and Windows workflow that you can just jump back and forth between each other, no problem. Although I don't see myself using this, I think it's just really cool to have. So overall, I think the LG Dual Up monitor is a good replacement monitor for people who are looking for maybe a single monitor setup or people who value this vertical space for their work. For my specific work and how I have the space designed, I don't think this is the best monitor for me. I've already talked about the architecture use, that's a big factor, but also my desk is not against the wall. And so 
This monitor blocks my vision. It blocks the window to my right. It blocks my vision of the gaming setup. It's just not how I designed the space and it's not how I want it to feel. And lastly, I installed a TV in my setup, which I was gonna use as a supplemental monitor. It just doesn't feel right. All of those reasons are very specific to my use case. They have nothing to do with the monitor. I've designed the space in a specific way that complements my workflow and it's important for me to stick with that. So with all that said, I am planning on keeping this monitor, maybe not for this setup though. I could see this as a second monitor for my gaming setup or even have my wife test it out. But I'm curious to know, what do you guys think of this monitor? Is this something that you would consider getting? And if so, what would you use it for? If you made it this far into the video, please let me know by typing ultra tall in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.